grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in on this Christmas day for this brief daily message of hope. Uh, and my prayer and my hope and my strong yearning for you today is that you are feeling the hope that has come into the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it is the enduring hope uh, that I am claiming for you. And I hope you're feeling that today and being able to uh, rest in the arms of the Lord. Uh, the hope that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ is permanent. Uh, and it's not dependent on uh, any external uh, forces. As a matter of fact, it's stronger than any external forces. Uh, the light of Christ shines in the darkness to this day. No matter how deep we think the darkness might be, uh, Christ is with us in the midst of it because he promised that he would be. And I want to just talk briefly about uh, uh, the masses that we had yesterday and some of the, uh, just the, the emotions and feelings that uh, have uh, gone through my mind this morning after a very late night, uh, early morning uh, yesterday, uh, Christmas Eve coming into today. I was thinking about the children uh, that I saw at Mass, uh, at the early Mass yesterday, the Vigil Mass at 5, and then later at the Midnight Mass, there were a lot of children present. Uh, you know, we're still um, uh, limited through the, uh, the COVID restrictions. Uh, we can't pack the church anymore like we used to. We're still at about 50% capacity, but there were children present. And what, you know, what went through my mind was... Uh, uh, wondering what these children will remember from those uh, uh, times in church on Christmas. What will they remember about the sights and the sounds and the decorations and the incense and the music? Uh, what will they carry with them from their childhood into their adolescent years? Uh, what about you? Do you have any memories of your childhood uh, from a religious uh, events that you attended? What did you carry from your childhood into the present? Because I had a prayer for all of those children who were there that is also my prayer for you and for me today on this Christmas day uh, in the year 2020, a year that's uh, unlike any that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we will all be so glad to take the 2020 page off our calendars and rip it up into little bitty pieces and start the year 2021. Uh, but in a way, we do that every day. Every day is new. God's mercies are new every day. And his light still shines no matter how deep the darkness is. But what do the children remember? What do you remember from your childhood? Because my prayer and my wish and my deep yearning for you and for those little children at Mass yesterday, many of them were asleep. Some of them were struggling to stay, stay awake. Some were just as hyper as they could be, just like uh, children are. My prayer for them and for me and for you is that, that we will take away from that yesterday, uh, indeed take away from every time we attend uh, Mass or uh, go to church, we take away a deep feeling that we are safe and that we are secure and that we are loved. There's no greater thing we can pass on uh, to children, to grandchildren, to parishioners, to children, to nieces, to nephews, to great nieces, great nephews, to students, to athletes. There's nothing more important than we can, that we can convey to them is that they are safe and they are secure and that they are deeply loved. These are the, the things that Jesus leaves with us. Uh, God cared enough about us to step out of uh, eternity, to come and uh, traverse the corridors of eternity through the vast expanse of interstellar space, as we say, stepping into his own creation as a tiny baby. He did it for us, and he did it for you. Never forget that this is about you. Jesus came because of you. Uh, God stepped into his creation because of you. Because he didn't want you to be alone against the forces of evil and darkness in the world. He came for you so that you could feel safe and secure and loved in him. That's the meaning, the purpose. That's the overriding uh, thing that is conveyed to us at Christmas. 
that we are safe and secure in him and with him and that we are deeply loved by him. Uh, and he came into the world as the most helpless of all creatures, a tiny newborn baby, uh, born to parents who were displaced from their home, uh, refugees in, uh, in another area of their country, and indeed Joseph and Mary were homeless when Jesus was born. You don't get much uh, more uh, uh, deeper and darker and lonely than that. A simple, tiny, human, helpless baby born to parents, displaced from their home, refugees, immigrants, as it were, homeless uh, in a world that was not uh, theirs, in a world that was controlled by the Roman Empire, in a country occupied by a foreign power. Jesus knows about helplessness, and that's why he came. He knows when you feel helpless, uh, and he knows that he loves you. And please remember that he conveys to you at this holy time of year uh, his uh, warmth, his love, his light, his compassion, and his mercy, all available to you. You're the reason he came into this world. Yes, indeed, all of us are. But remember that you're included in that, all of us, so that you can feel safety, so you can know that you're secure, and know that you are loved eternally by the one who is the one who invented love, who is love himself. Have a blessed day today. Enjoy this Christmas day and know that you are safe and secure in him and that you are deeply loved. God bless you and I will see you right here again tomorrow.